The information presented in this virtual exercise program is current as of June 2022. This programming may involve diverse exercise activities encompassing a range of physical demands. Although the programming is being led by certified practitioners in the respective disciplines, you agree that you are voluntarily accepting the risks of physical activity that may be particular to your individual health and fitness circumstances, and you agree that we will not be held liable for these risks or any injuries or damages arising therefrom. Further, we are unable to monitor your health status during the programming or call for medical attention on your behalf. By participating, you warrant that you are physically capable of performing the activities of the particular program and that you will seize the activities should you begin to feel unwell at any time. The information provided by the exercise program leaders is not intended to be medical advice or personal training. We recommend that each participant discuss their medical circumstances and the programming with their physician. Welcome to the Kidney Wellness Hub. I'm so glad you could join us today. My name is Brenda Brown and today's class is a chair class. It's designed for anybody who has some mobility issues or is in dialysis um, or just is new to yoga and wants to um, try um, to learn a little bit more about it or anybody who is in a desk and needs a few minutes um, to stretch. Um, so please uh, try it and if you get a little bit tired and you need to take a break, please hit pause and come back and join us when you get a chance. So let's get started. Um, for this class you need a chair um, sturdy on a mat if you can or make sure that if you are on a chair with wheels that it's locked so it doesn't move um, for safety please. And if you have a towel or a blanket, uh, we'll use one of those in the, today's class as well. Sit tall and long spine in the chair. If you're in a chair like this one, um, try and sit back in it as far as you can to at least get started. Um, or sit with a cushion or a towel or something behind it so that you've got a very long and straight back as much as, it, as our backs aren't really designed to be straight, let's, but as long and tall in the spine and the ribs um, as you can. Roll your shoulders back and close your eyes or at least take a nice soft focal point in front of you, whatever is most comfortable for you. And let's just, just try and center ourselves and become present in this moment. And take a big deep breath and sigh it out. And again, big inhale. Right down into your diaphragm, into your belly, make a big Buddha belly and then just sigh it out. couple more. Get rid of all that stale air. Just follow your breath through your body all the way down to the bottom of your toes and up through the tip of your head. Become aware of where your breath is going. Maybe you've got some aches and pains. Let it linger where it needs to. Just become more present and aware of what your body is feeling at this moment. And begin to deepen your breath. and lengthen your exhale. And slowly, if your eyes are closed, open them up. Okay, just sit a little bit forward more in your chair. We're going to take our two fingers on both our index and our middle finger and we're going to bring them to the top of our temples. And we're going to slowly give our temple this little round massage. This round circle massage around our temple. And then we're going to follow it down to our top of our jaw. We tend to hold a lot of tension in our jawline. And we're going to go down and follow our jawline to our ear bone, to the tip of our ear. And just give ourselves a little bit of a face massage 
down to the bottom of our ear, to the top of our jawline. All that tension that we hold right at the top of our jaw, where our jaw meets our, our ear. And then just slowly pull our forward towards our chin and up to our chin till our fingers meet. And then back. Just walk our fingers back, slowly up towards our ears. And then up to our jaw, up our ears, back towards our temple. And then again, give ourselves a little bit of a massage around our temples. And then one more time, just come back down towards our ear. You can feel all those little tension points along your jaw, underneath your jaw, towards your chin. And then let it go. Just give yourself a nice little face massage. And then we're going to take our neck and we're going to take the left ear, dip it towards our, right, our left shoulder. As far, only as far as is comfortable for you. You should never feel pain in yoga or any of these stretches. And if you do, then pull it back. And then bring it back to center. And then take your right ear to your right shoulder. Always maintaining a long spine, never trying to arch into this. And then bring it back to center. And then bring your chin down to your chest, only as far as is comfortable. And then back to center. And then bring your chin up to sky, only as far as is comfortable. And then back to center. And then chin to your right shoulder. Back to center. And then chin to left shoulder. head is one of our the heaviest parts of our body and we carry it around on us all the time and we don't give it a lot of love. Okay, now we're going to take our, sh our shoulders and we're going to put our hands up on our shoulders and we're going to take them high and make our elbows come forward and do some shoulder circles. Have them touch if you can. Just go big wide shoulders circles and go as slow as you want or as fast as you want. Just making sure you're doing those big round circles. Do one more in that direction and then go the other direction. Getting out all those little kinks and creaks. Nice big round shoulder circles. You can feel it down the back. Okay, shake that out. Take your feet about as wide as the chair, and then take your right arm to your shoulder, left arm up high, and then bend it over to your right side. Feeling this nice long stretch down the left side of your body, and only as far as feels comfortable. If that's here, that's perfectly okay. That may be where you start, and then just going as deep as feels comfortable and on each exhale you might want to go a little bit deeper. You want to feel it all the way down into your left hip but again only as feels comfortable never feeling any tingling pain. On your next inhale pull yourself back up. Shake that out. Then take your left arm down to your left knee, put your arm, right arm up, and then stretch to the left side. And again, only as deep as comfortable. And each side could be different. You know, we're gonna have different flexibility, different mobility from side to side. And again, depending on whether you're right-handed or left-handed, you're gonna have different mobility and strength on each side. And on each exhale, you can just go a little bit deeper with the breath, allow, allow the breath to lead you. On your inhale, come back up. Now we're gonna take our right hand 
Move it to the back of the chair, left hand on knee, and then just do a little bit of a twist. So looking towards the side of the room. And allow your body to twist. And again, allow the breath to lead you. So on each exhale, just twist a little bit deeper, feeling that twist in your body. Twists are really good. They sort of um, twist out your organs. Imagine them twisting out your lungs, twisting out your kidneys, twisting out all the bowels, your stomach. Give them a good, like, twisting out a towel or just giving them a good stretch, all the internal organs. On your next inhale, come back to center. We'll do that on the other side. Right hand to left knee. And then slowly twisting to the left side. Making sure the whole time that your spine is long. You never want to crunch your spine. Just give it a nice ringing out. Front and back body are working together. And always working with the breath. And on your next inhale, come back to center. Okay, and this is where we're gonna use our blanket or our towel. We're gonna just bring it out in front of us. Put it on the floor, put your feet on it. And you're going to do some hip circles. So if, if you're on a um, carpet, you'd wanna use a garbage bag. We'll use work better or a plastic bag. Um, will work better for this rather than uh, on a floor surface like this. So you're going to want to do a circle, come up forward on your blanket and just do a right circle going this way with your out toward, hanging on to your seat and just moving your hip towards this direction. going to the right so you're feeling that in that right hip and you're moving that right hip over and just working with the towel you can also do this if you lift up your your leg so if you have the mobility and you want to be able to work it a little bit more and get a little bit deeper into this hip socket you can pull up the um, behind you with your thigh and work it this way so it really depends on your level of mobility and how you want to work this um, you can get a little bit deeper by doing it this way, but if you don't have the mobility, you want to just work it with on the floor, then you use the towel and you can get it in this way. But just move this one foot out of the way and get a little bit deeper by moving it out a little bit further on the floor. So you've got all kinds of options for you to be able to do that. So we'll do the other side, go to the left side. So again, we can go together just working slowly into this left hip socket. Or, like I said, coming up. If you're working at your desk and just moving it around. Or with one on the floor. And it really depends on what kind of mobility you have, what sort of environment you're working with how your hip is feeling, if you're dealing with an injury. Just want to make sure you're getting into those hip sockets and trying to work them. The next one we're going to do with the blanket is we're going to put both our feet together on the front of the blanket, get a little bit further up in your seat, and you're going to push out, all the way out with your legs, and then come all the way back in. You're also working your ab abs a little bit with this. So push out, and then in. Out, and then in. And not, don't, don't lock your knees. Just go out far enough that you're not locking those knees together. But you're stretching your quads, your hams, your calves, your glutes, your abs. You're basically working a lot of your lower body without putting a lot of um, weight on them. And again, work with the breath. Okay.
Okay, we'll do that a few more times. Bring it back in. And just put your blanket aside, your towel. Then we're just gonna work our heels a little bit because we're constantly walking on our feet. So take your feet flat on the floor and then just go up to your toes and down. Up on your toes and down. This also works your ankles. One more time. Okay, now we're going to bring our heel, our feet together. And this will be a, a, a butt, seated butterfly basically, but in a chair. So you're fully supported, but you're um, working the inner parts of your inner thighs. You can just bring your hands together, close your eyes for a moment. Big deep breath, inhale all the way into the deep part of your belly. With each exhale, try and release your knees out a little bit further. Bring your hands out to your outer parts, your knees, bring them in closer together, shake them out. Come back a little bit further on your chair. We'll do a seated pigeon or a figure four pose by bringing your left ankle up on top of your right knee and then allow your hand to gently push or put some pressure onto the um, left thigh just to give a bit of a stretch into that outer part of your um, hip, left hip. So this is a seated pigeon pose or a figure four pose. It looks kind of like a four. But that works, you should feel this in the outer part of your left hip. Our hips hold a lot of emotions um, and contain a lot of um, additional uh, stress. So they don't get enough love as far as I'm concerned. So I try and work my hips every day. Um, either in a figure four or a pigeon pose or chair pose. This is a really good pose to do at any time of day. So we'll switch and we'll put that on the right side. Make sure our foot is foot, our foot is flexed. And you can see that this side of my um, body is a lot higher up. I don't have the same kind of flexion in the right side of my hip. So it needs a lot more love because there's a lot more tension in my right side of my body. and I can feel it. <laughs> Today in particular, I'm feeling a lot more tension in that right hip. And you'll feel the same, your right side of your body and your left side of the body are gonna behave totally differently. They're gonna be balanced differently when you're doing balance poses. Um, strength is gonna be different when you do flexion. And yoga is not all about flexibility. Um, it's about strength and endurance and working through your issues when you're um, working with your body and getting to know it better. Okay, and then we'll just release that. Shake that all out. Sit back in your chair, roll your shoulders back. Find a nice comfortable seat. Take a nice deep breath. Nice, easy pose.
I hope you enjoyed today's chair class. Thanks again for joining us today. I look forward to seeing you back here at the Kidney Wellness Hub soon. Thank you. This video is brought to you by the Kidney Foundation of Canada, BC and Yukon Branch. Please remember to like and subscribe. You can continue to watch another video or return to the Kidney Foundation Wellness Hub by clicking on the direct link in the description box below. If you would take a moment to fill out our short survey found below as well, we would greatly appreciate your input. Thanks for watching and we hope to see you again soon.